the um, Liz again. So I have another thrift haul for you today. I might have a problem, but um, it's a good problem because it's a problem that I make money with. <laughs> So I have purchased, okay, so there's a thrift store by my house that does a 50% off sale every once in a while, and um, it was today, so I hit it up. Um, I got 32 items for $82, so what, that's like $2 and change for each? We'll say $2 for the uh, sake of argument. So I got some really cool stuff. Everything is literally just right in front of me. I haven't looked much of it up. I looked some things up. Um just because I've recorded this video about a hundred times and my phone keeps crashing, but I digress. So let's get to it. Um, no makeup, fresh off of the, th the thrift store floor. Um, so bear with me. We've got these super cool Jeffrey Campbell. Let's see the right in there. Um, these are called spike shoes obviously but the name is called spike and the color I already forgot it but I did look these up um, there are people asking anywhere between like upwards of a hundred to two hundred dollars for these I don't think they're worth that I think they're worth a solid 80 bucks there's a ton of these in black that are going between 40 and 60 that gray color there's not that much out. So if you're a seven and a half and you're looking for these shoes, my listing is going to be the only one you're going to find and you're going to pay me 80 bucks for it. So, and I think that's totally fair because these are what, like $250 in the store. They used to be sold at Urban Outfitters. Um, I don't know where else they're sold, but that, that detailing, the studs and all the studs are there. Um, that detailing is very, very... Oh, that one loose. Um, I'll tighten that up. It's very telling of Jeffrey Campbell. I think there's one other designer. I want to say it's uh, Christian Louboutin that did something very similar. But obviously they would have the red bottom on this shoe. This is a cute little rainbow dress by Hannah Anderson. See that there? It is a size 5. It does have some staining. It looks like it was probably worn at a birthday party. It almost looks like an owl, the stain. Anyway, um, but when it stains on white, that's actually really easy to get out with just some uh, boric acid, some water, some dish soap, and an old toothbrush, and I just kind of scrub it out, and it comes right out. Um, this is actually still available on their website. The original price was $70. Um, right now, you can get it on the website for $40. Um, but they don't have all sizes. They they don't have the size five, so there are some available on Poshmark and Kitizen for about anywhere between thirty and forty five dollars. So I'm gonna stick with about forty dollars. Okay. This is so cool. It is by Laura Ashley or Ashley Laura, Laura Ashley, and it is. I swear I had the same exact thing but with black buttons. Very 1990s um, corduroy skirt jumpsuit with the slit in the back. Made in the UK. Okay. Um, I, I think it's a size 4. Yeah. Size 4. I, I didn't look this one up. Um, I think this is going to... I actually... Finally sold something on Depop, I think. I've been in negotiation with this person all day um, for a bongo lasso belt. So cool. Um, they're, they're trying to talk me down, which I'm all for. I love the back and forth, so it's all good. But uh, I think they're going to buy it. I just lowered the price for them. We agreed on a price. Let's see if they actually buy it. Um, so I'm going to definitely, I want to see if I can get somebody to model this. It's a U.S. size 4. I don't know anybody that's a U.S. size 4. But, um, we'll see. Maybe someone's teenage daughter can come over and help me. Any hoosers. Now, mind you, like I said, I'm just from the thrift store, so everything still has the tags on it. The tags are not what I paid. Um, I already told you what I paid. I paid $82 for everything. So this is Bowden. 
Now, the great thing about Bowdoin is that if it doesn't sell when I list it, or if I decide I don't want to list it, I can send it to the real reel. The real reel does accept Bowdoin as long as it's in good condition, which this is. This has the eyelet. It's I want to say I don't think that's three quarter sleeve. I think that's half sleeve. Oh no, it might be three quarters. I don't know. I'm too big for that. But it's this really cool kind of grayish purple color. Um, I don't know if this is linen. It might be cotton, but it's gorgeous. Very boho. Um, it's got the gathering in the front. I call that tuxedo gathering uh, just because it reminds me of Cumberbund. I don't think that's the technical name. While we're on to vintage, look at this super rad shirt. It is single stitch. Let me see. There we go. Single stitch. Made in the USA Hanes beefy tea. Right? And it's got these quilting yeah, cat's quilting <laughs> graphic on it. I think that's really cool. This length would be really good for um, a girl to make like a dress, like a t-shirt dress out of. It does have the sleeves cut off. Or, I mean, a dude could totally style this really well. Um, vintage tees, especially with the single stitch and the made in the USA, have a tendency to pull a little bit of money. Um, I'm going to ask 50 bucks for this. And see where it goes I think I still haven't looked it up if it's worth more than that then I'll ask for more but I think 50 bucks is about mid to high on that um, but I'd totally be fine with taking like 30 um, peace love world they used to have their uh, main office here in Miami I don't know if it's still there because the last time I passed by it wasn't there uh, their stuff sells for a pretty penny. This is a really cute flowy tank top. This would be really cute with like some leggings or um, some denim shorts. It's a size medium and it says, I love vacay. Because who doesn't love a vacation? Um, honestly, that probably retailed for at least 50 or $60 at least. It probably more. So I think within the realm of reason, 25, I can definitely get for that. There's one thing that's in, in this pile that is to die for. Like I saw it and I am, oh, let me tell you. I found an Escada piece, right? And I have never found Escada before. It was like the angels came down from the heavens and were like, we're going to bless you with this, but just kidding. Because when I pulled it out, I'd like, okay, so this is the rack, right? I pulled it out and I see a Scott. I'm like, yes, I looked at it and it was like a punch in the face, the smell of tobacco. Right. And I'm looking at the tag. I'm like, dude, that tag's not supposed to be brown. It was brown from the tar. And like the knit was like not open knit, but it had like these pinstriping almost like embroidered pinstriping on it and the pinstriping was like pulled so it just it would have been seven bucks seven bucks in the grand scheme of things not a big deal but I didn't even want to touch it anymore like I couldn't in whole heart sell it to somebody knowing that it like smelled like that at some point even if I did clean it up because like the whole thing third hand smoke thing they like drill into your head when you have a kid and I just I don't know man I I, I let it sit there but I needed to let you know that I found Escada moving on this has no label it has no size I include measurements anyway so size doesn't really bother too much especially when it comes to the vintage I do think this is vintage. I think it's vintage either 1970s or 1980s. Um, I could picture somebody wearing it almost like a house coat. It's got this macrame sleeve, macrame kind of um, detailing on top. The bottom is a gauze and it ties with these tassels. 
which I can't find. Anyway, it's highs with tassels and like a little loop. Anyway, adorable, adorable. I think that this is at least 30 bucks. Um, again, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's vintage. It doesn't look handmade at all. I think, um, I think that was made by someone, but there's no tax. Okay. So I thought I scored big with this. COS, which I think is company of style or something like that. I don't know. But it's a men's, it's a designer men's, um, clothing company and this is just a standard black crew neck but the feel is amazing like this just oozes quality these brand new are $99 so I thought it was going to be a lot more um it's a $20 bill in my eyes right now because of the fact that it's not brand new excuse me I don't know why I'm burping so much um if it was brand new, like new with tags, uh, considering that it sells out of their website for $99, I would ask $50. But since it's not, even though it's in excellent condition, I'm going to lean more towards <clears throat> the $20 to $30. <coughs> that thrift store love, man. Okay. This is the piece I was so excited about. You see this? I don't know if you can see this. So we have a wide lapel, haltered top dress. I'd say it's a like midi length, right to the knee. And it's Diane von Flut, Flot, Flotsen, Flutzenberg. I know, kill me later. Made in Italy, uh, size 12. This is definitely... 1960s designer now I couldn't find of course this was the first thing I looked up because I was so excited about this I couldn't find this dress at all similar dresses with similar designs not that colorway but kind of that like repeated I feel like my grandmother would have had those as curtains that pattern as a curtain kind of thing back in the 60s um, we're going anywhere from two to nine hundred dollars. Don't know what I'm going to mark that as. I, I really want to make sure I'm marking it fairly because I feel like that is a piece that someone needs to wear. It is so cool. If I didn't love cookies and cheeseburgers so much, I'd wear it. Because it's, look at the print. I was so excited about this and let me tell you there's a rack in the very back of the store that I very rarely go to and the reason why I don't go to it that much is because it's usually just pajamas and um, coats and yeah pajamas sell blah 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 but most of the time the pajamas like pre-owned pajamas are beat to crap and so I don't even bother with it and coats right now nobody's really buying anything um, as far as like when I say coats I mean like blazers so I'll skim through the blazers because sometimes you feel like I found a theory blazer today. And I almost picked it up, but I was like, eh, it's a blazer. Like, blazers aren't selling. Um, but that was mixed in. I decided to go through it. I was like, ah, oh, I got like 10 more minutes. Let me just go through this real quick. That was in there. I'm so glad it was. I'm so excited about that. I was like, <gasps> I had that <gasps> moment. And this particular thrift store, I feel is turning into like my holy grail because I've found oh god what is it called I found Vivian Westwood there I found Johnny was there I found that there I found a Berber if you follow me on Instagram LL creative on Instagram I found you'll see the Burberry piece I found found it there today we're gonna, you're gonna see it just now and he was just back to what we we're talking about um, these are structured I'm covering, I'm trying to cover up the prices because that's not what I paid. I paid less than that. Um, structured uh, shorts. Uh, they're thick, but they're not lined. Um, they're not linen, but they feel like they could be linen. They're cotton with a little bit of spandex. Slight stretch to them. They're cute. I love that print, that kind of mustard 
yellow, and pink. Uh, that's easy 20 bucks, 15, 20 bucks. I'll probably list it at 25. <laughs> now, free people, the market is completely flooded with free people. However, one thing that I have learned over the last seven days is that because the market is, is flooded with free, blah, 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 free people right now, people are looking for vintage free people. Yes, it exists. This is one. Now you can Google, there we go. You can Google um, vintage free people tags to get a better idea. Um, a lot of them look, will say free people on it or have the letters FP on it. Tank top. Okay, it's got these really cool buttons. The buttons on these is totally rad. And it's got sequins and embroidery and it ties in the back. Very Y2K 90s. That's 15, 20 bucks all day. Eileen Fisher. I love picking up Eileen Fisher and I love picking up J. Jill. I know Eileen Fisher and J. Jill are two brands that people just don't associate with money, but they sell for me and they sell well. Maybe I'm an old lady. That's why, but um, I love it. This does have a couple of pen marks on it. I feel like I can get that out though because they look fresh. This is a size extra small, um, but it looks like it would fit a larger person. That's just the style of Eileen Fisher. Eileen Fisher is very oversized. So I'm not going to put that as a different size. I'm going to put it as an extra small because people who like Eileen Fisher know. And I think that's the biggest problem with people who sell Eileen Fisher is that they will put the size that they think it is. It's an extra small. This is a very cool vintage 90. It looks like it may have been dyed because the bottom is a little bit lighter and then it's not really an ombre it's just lighter um, the top has this really cute lace detail I haven't looked up the brand there is one little hole in it right there but when you wear it with the strap I feel like that would cover the hole so I'm not too worried about that if it's something where it's like make or breaking the sale, I'll stitch it up, but I'm not going to really worry about it. So the brand is Kaiser, or Kaiser maybe, Kaiser, made in the USA. Sorry, my lips are trapped. Um, gorgeous. Now back in the day, back in the 90s, we used to wear these with like either a denim jacket and boots or like a leather jacket and sneakers. Um... Vintage and 90s were all the rage. We used to tie-dye them. So I feel like since the 90s are coming back and they're coming back hard, I feel like that is going to be really in style. Um, I just don't know if it is because I'm too old. Just kidding. I can hear the comments now. You're not too old. So Karen Kane. Don't sleep on Karen Kane. Some of the Karen Kane tops and dresses can sell for upwards of $100. The, re the retail on them is anywhere between um, 150 to 200 and I don't think people really realize that. Uh, Karen Kane, this is really cute. The embroidery on it, it's like a t-shirt style dress. It's a size 0X, so that's what, like a 1214? Okay, do you see that embroidery? Gorgeous. And it's got embroidery around the neckline. I kind of hem and hawed over this, but I figured, you know what? If it doesn't sew, so. it's my size. It's now or never. Is that how the song goes? Um, so I'm okay with that. I don't think I'm going to get like 60 bucks for it. I think I'm going to get probably like 20 to 30 and I'm okay with that. Um, but I'm also okay if it sits because I'll just take it off and wear it because it's adorbs. This is not vintage. Well, it's vintage-esque. <laughs> it's an older Victoria's Secret tag, but not extremely old. It is a 100% silk. I want to say it's a 90, but it could be a dress. I think it's a dress. Um, it's got the scoop neck, slit up the side gorgeous color. I mean, it, it feels like butter. 
this is a size, I think it was a small, yeah, small, 100% silk. Um, I think that's at least 40 to $60. I'm not 100% sure. Didn't look at comps for that yet. This I bought purely based on style. It is a caftan. This might stay in my closet for a little while. I'm not sure. Um, Rofe is the brand. But I wasn't too concerned about the brand. I was more concerned about the style of it. It's got that kind of Southwest boho feel. Um, kimono style. With like this macrame lace detail down the back. I really like that. I think that looks so rad with like a band t-shirt, chunky necklace, a big old hat, some jeans, um, or just lounging around the house, which I think a lot of us do right now. This is Splendid for Little Girl. I think it's 18 to 24 months. Um, this obviously is going to go on uh, Kittizen for sure. Look at those buttons. Little crystal buttons. It's like a crushed velvet team kind of really soft um, tunic I guess you could call that it's really cute dress maybe tunic um, I didn't look up comps for that splendid really doesn't sell that well I'd be surprised if I got over $15 for that I'm probably gonna do that $15 shipped um, so it'll, it'll include shipping this I have no idea what this is it's called Bobo, B Bougie Bohine, or something like that. It's a high-low. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. It's a high-low, but the quality, like the feel of it, is insane. It's not lined. I take that back. It is lined, just not in the sleeve. Um, the inside label was cut out so thanks pal but I think this is really cool and I think with a high-waisted skirt this is like don't sleep on that don't know the like anything really about the brand um, I looked it up just to see if it was worth the two dollars to buy it and I think it was so I don't know maybe 30 bucks 20 bucks citizens of humanity that's what the label looks like. These are the men's jeans. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Ingrid, low rise flare. Really cute. They do have um, a little paint on there. I'm going to list it as is first. If I, for whatever reason I can't get more than 20 bucks for them, then I'm going to try to take that paint stain off. But Considering it's flair, considering it's citizens of humanity, considering the size, so it's a bigger size, size 31, I think, 32, 30, 30, 30, 30, 32. Um, that's not a very common set. Well, for women, it's not common. So that's why I think it's, I don't know, I'm, we're going to do some more research. Um, I think that's a quick $25 to $45, um, just kidding, $25 to $30 for that. But like I said, if it ends up sitting because of that stain, then um, if it didn't have the stain, I think it would get $30 to $45, but it does. So, some of you are going to be really excited about that. That is the Gold Label Vintage Victoria's Secret robe in excellent condition. No stains, no pills, no nothing. I still haven't looked that up. I feel like I need to. It has the belt. Um, I don't know. Everybody seems to be all about the Vintage Gold Label Victoria's Secret. Now, if I, there were two other pieces that were there. One was like a kimono style robe, and another one was a nightgown. I didn't pick them up because they had like mysterious stains on the inside of them. So it could be blood or something else. Um, there were darker stains. So if 
if it ends up selling for forty dollars I'm not worried about it I'm gonna leave them there like it is what it is this was the best out of the three pieces if it ends up selling for like two hundred dollars and I can get like a hundred bucks for those I'm going back and we're soaking some blood out but I don't think that's the case so but we'll see um this not gonna pronounce it well Dries de Dries Venote Dries Drew G Venote I whatever don't make fun of me <clears throat> it's a men's brand shirt even though this almost looks like a woman's cut but it's not 38 um this looks like a women's shirt I know about this brand because of another youtuber she goes by hustle at home mom she sold a I want to say pants by this um, brand for like I don't know 60 bucks or something if it wasn't for her I probably would have just completely looked over this the condition is not great um, I'm gonna try to do what I can I'm obviously gonna disclose everything that's wrong with it it's not any holes or stains it's just like a lot of washer wear and so I feel like paying $60 for a black long sleeve shirt doesn't make sense. The brand, however, I think kind of counteracts the fact that there's so much washer wear to it. So that being said, I think I'm still going to be able to get 30 bucks for it. This I love. Silence and Noise is sold by Urban Outfitters. I have never seen Silence and Noise so like pretty. So I I sell I don't sell a lot of Silence and Noise. I pick up a lot of Silence and Noise. I don't sell it as fast as I pick it up. But look how pretty that kind of applique. It's not applique. It's sewed on. And then the front has this like mesh detail with the appliques and are like a rough hem with like an arrow pattern or not an arrow pattern maybe like a chevron this is gorgeous I would be surprised if that went for any less than 30 bucks 25 30 it is a tank top but because of the beading now if it's something where I'm looking at it and it's selling for like 45 50 in good condition I'm gonna help kind of fasten some of the of those uh, seed beads a little bit tighter but I don't think it's really worth doing for 25 bucks 30 bucks life is good sells for me almost instantaneously the last life is good shirt I posted had a Jeep on it and it sold I want to say within 15 minutes of me listing it something crazy like that um, and it says happy hour oh that cute and it's got a girl and her dog and they're camping out all right this is a size small um, I didn't notice that I sell the plus size life is good much faster than the smaller sizes so I have a feeling I'm gonna sit on this but I sell them steady 20 25 bucks no matter what $25 if it has like some kind of branding on it you know um, like for instance the Jeep I sold for $25 but it was also plus size so I think that's an easy $20 bill and I'll probably sell that the day I list it this is not vintage this is the newer tag Victoria's Secret but I thought it was really cute even though it is a smaller size it's extra small um, I feel like this like I feel like I could see the person who buys this <laughs> It's a lace top. It does have a liner and the body of the top. Scoop neck, long sleeve, adorable. And I think that's really good because I, for like the season coming up for winter, because people like to wear white in winter. And the lace I think is, is really cute. I don't think it's too dated. Do you think it's dated? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and okay, so let me do the whole YouTube thing, right? So I would like for you to like this. I would like for you to, you know, maybe suggest it to a friend. Um, if you would like to subscribe, I would appreciate that. I do hauls and I'm going to do what sold. I am a at-home mom, work at-home mom of three boys who drive me crazy. And um, I resell for a living. So yeah, so if that's your thing, like and subscribe.
Rebecca Minkoff Razorback, not Razorback, tank top. It says Love in 3D in like a floral print. It's really dirty. It looks like somebody stomped on it. Um, Rebecca Minkoff, no matter how bad, of course I'm going to wash that. But no matter how bad of a, of a condition it is, it sells for me. Sometimes I have to sit on it a little bit longer, but it sells. I had a brocade sleeve black sweater that sold within two weeks of me listing it for $98. I have now a California crew neck pullover sweatshirt. I got it really, really low price on it because the condition is horrible and people are liking it like crazy. Her stuff sells. I think that's a $20 tank top. If not, it's 15 bucks. I'm okay with that. This is Burberry's. Now, with the S, the S is still authentic Burberry. It's just back in the day, it used to be Burberry's of London. It was Burberry, London. And then people would call it Burberry's. Like, hey, we're going to go over to Burberry's of London. Um, so they changed the, they added the S on the tag. Now, the thing that concerns me is the quality is there. The, the tag looks right. I'm just used to that little horse and rider on the tag. But I do think this is 100% legit. Um, so I'm gonna do a little more research. Because it's vintage, because it's Burberry, there is a little stain on it, but I think I can get it out. I can't even see the stain right now. But I know it's in the front somewhere. Oh no, it wasn't a stain, it was a piece of lint. Hi, okay. Um, it does have a lot of washer wear, which I think this is supposed to be dry clean only. But I'm going to disclose all that. And I'm still going to ask for 50 bucks. And if somebody wants it, they'll buy it for 50 bucks. It's great. It's a um, navy blue stripe and white. So I feel like like Nautical is going to sell that. This is really cool. The shirtery. Um, made in the USA. Super vintage. I mean, like, look at these tags. Girls kids, girls, um, top, t-shirt. I, this screams 60s, 70s. I mean, look at the little person's like bouffant hairdo. This is awesome. It's kids. It's vintage. Um, really cool design. It's kids. I'm thinking 40 bucks and I'll take offers. I feel like you don't live in the South. You're not a sweet Southern woman if you don't own some colorful ass Lily Pulitzer. Look how cute this is. I could just see like someone 